About a week or so ago in Compton, somebody gunned down a pastor. The pastor goes by the name of Reginald Moore. And this all happened in broad daylight at an intersection when the pastor was going to his car after Bible study. The shooter left him to die next to his car, yards from the church. Members of his family said they cannot rest until that person is found. And do you blame them? A large group of other pastors from around, women and men, from Compton to the South Bay to Long Beach, gathered in front of cameras, and they said the killing needs to stop. They said they've all done these same pleas before, which they have, but they've done them for regular civilian victims, not for the pastors and stuff. They've done them for, you know, the young people getting killed. They've been on news media. The killing's got to stop for the gangs. Oh, the killing's got to stop. But never have they done it for a pastor, which is a cold thing. So right by his church, he was going to his car to get his wallet. And the church is situated basically at an intersection on Compton Boulevard in Dwight. You have a liquor store on one side, some other little buildings. And he went to his car and they gunned him down. And he was a 65 year old man. That speaks volume. That speaks volume. That would mean the religious people ain't safe. The elderly ain't safe. We already know the children and young people ain't safe. We know that already. But to kill the pastor, that's something. I can remember when we was young, we walked by a church, we'd be walking down the street cussing. When we get to the church and cuss, we'd be like, forgive me, God, and you know what I'm saying? Because we'd be feeling like we done done something wrong. It tells you a lot about which kind of society we live in today. We live in a society, and, and I truly believe the society we live in, uh, that these young people are a part of a death culture where they kill their own mother, they'll kill their own siblings and have no remorse for it. You know, we see it every day. They kill babies, they kill women, they have no remorse. Innocent people, it gets bad when you start killing innocent people. Pastors, wow. It gets really bad. That would say, you as the regular person, you definitely don't stand a chance. A 65-year-old man walking with a cane, if he don't stand a chance, I don't know what to tell you. And think about it. During this uh, vaccine mandate, we got law enforcement that's not getting vaccinated and saying, well, hell, we just won't work. We got uh, fire departments. Hey, we just won't work. So with that being said, it might be a long time before some fire department can come and save you if they're already being cut thin. It might be a long time before police show up on the scene if they're being cut thin. And we already know. The L.A. police chief already said his guys ain't got to do nothing. So with all that infighting going on, you better prepare to protect yourself out here. Because if you don't, you could probably be victimized. And that's, that's real talk. And that's all across this country. All across this country, they're having a beef about a vaccine mandate where uh, city workers, uh, police, fire departments, and ambulances, people are, are walking off these jobs. They're not... They like, nah, we ain't getting no vaccine. So that leaves you vulnerable to be a victim. So don't be a victim. You got to continue your 360 degree awareness that I talk about and get yourself ready. Make sure that you can protect yourself when you're out here. Come up with your group plan with your family and say, hey, here's the cold word. If you're ever in trouble and somebody's up on you, Use the distress word, but it don't make it a distress word. Do whatever you have to do, but prepare and plan just in case 
law enforcement can't get to you, which already you know they can't get to you because if they're not already on the scene, you're going to be in trouble anyway, you know? And you figure 65 year olds, you can't duck fast enough and you can't run fast enough if somebody's gunning at you. But if you got that on you, you could at least probably attempt to say, hey, no, not today. I ain't dying today. And that's the way we have to be out here. The way this country is going, it's going to be every man for itself. So you have to protect you and yours come together with you and your little group and y'all come together, come up with a protection plan. And that's what I'm going to say. And I want to give my condolences uh, to the pastor and to his family because that that's a cold thing and it ain't right. And that's why a lot of times you hear me speak about when you, attention, when you intentionally kill somebody, you should not be spending the rest of your life in jail eating off the community. You need to be executed. And I, and I stand on that. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Unite from every alley in Cali. Intersection and back street. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. I'm not who you think I am. Your perception is a lesson with a fail grade on it. Yeah. Steady living life like I would never see the morning. True shit, man, I'm more than pain. I'm more than stain on sidewalk. I'm more than black skin on my face. Destined to be great. Gotta elevate mind. Elevation is the game that I gotta play. Gotta win. Gotta find escape to a better day.